Good afternoon, everybody. It's David Schlott Howard here with another detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion for Saturday, August 23rd, 2025. Also, if you haven't been here before and you do find these tropical weather updates very helpful, detailed, informative, and life saving, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification icon to get all of my daily tropical weather updates, including live hurricane coverage. If there's a landfalling hurricane or tropical cyclone in 2014, to 36 to even 48 hours, hit that like button and share this video with their family and friends on social media. Now, when we take a look here at our latest seven day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center, and you can see there, there is tropical storm for non with 40 mile an hour winds, pressures down to about 1,010 millibars, and it is moving to the north, slightly east of due north at about 15 miles per hour. If we click on the cone of uncertainty here, you can see that Fernand will be passing safely to the east of Bermuda, not causing a whole lot of impacts there, although we are looking at some high surf over the next several days as Fernan passes just to the east. So good news there for the small island of Bermuda. No significant direct impacts are expected there over the next several days. While we're keeping an eye here on another tropical disturbance, this is 99L. This still has a 20% chance of tropical development. And anybody living in, say, Barbados, such as St. Lucia and some of these other islands down here near Trinidad and Tobago, we're expecting to get some pretty significant heavy rainfall, gusty winds associated with that tropical wave, but we are not talking about hurricane force winds or tropical storm force winds by any means. This is just a very strong tropical wave as it moves across the central and southern portion there of the Leeward Islands and the Lesser Antilles. Here's a closer zoomed in view showing Invest 99L this afternoon and we can clearly see there's a lot of showers, a lot of thunderstorms going on and even a hint of a low level swirl underneath the thunderstorm canopy here indicating that the system is trying to get better organized here but struggling to do so because there is a little bit of easterly vertical wind shear we have some dry surrounding air as you can tell here by the stratocumulus to the north and so this is going to have a hard time developing but nonetheless this is still going to bring in some inclement weather sensible weather to these islands of the leewards and across trinidad and tobago and barbados over the next two to four days. So with that being said, let's take a look now at our latest European model. This is the 850 millibar vorticity plot showing us where there's a lot of spin in the atmosphere. And this is what we're looking at here basically or looking for on the map. A lot of that tightly wound up energy of spin at 5,000 feet above the surface declaring us either a strong tropical wave, a tropical storm, or in fact a hurricane. So this is the favorite part of the atmosphere that I like looking at to discern any areas of spin. So putting this into motion, you can see there is that tropical wave that approaches the uh, Lesser Antilles down here. See this orange? That is that area of disturbed weather. That's sensible weather. There's going to be a lot of rain, a lot of gusty winds associated with that. Moving across Barbados, some of the islands here like um, Guadeloupe as well as um, if you're in Dominica, Martinique as well. Just keep that in mind, there's going to be a lot of problems. St. Lucia as well, getting some of that sensible weather, part of that tropical wave as it moves on through. And let's see, does it actually end up developing? No, it does not. It gets all strung apart here, very elongated area of disturbed weather, but that's sensible weather. So again, even so it doesn't develop, there will be still some showers, some thunderstorms, some gusty winds associated with that tropical wave as it approaches the Eastern Pacific here as we go forward. And this is in four days, already in the far Western Caribbean. And that's about it with that model. What does the GFS model show very quickly? You can see the GFS has it a little bit more stronger, a little bit more red there on the screen over Barbados, St. Lucia, as well as Martinique. So keep that in mind, rain, wind, thunder um, happening uh, with that system. And th that really kind of, tears apart as it goes through the Caribbean. That's to be expected. It's the graveyard for any tropical cyclone unless it's very strong and well hold together. And that's because this tends to be an area of higher deep layer vertical wind shear in the Caribbean. So the good news is once this approaches, it doesn't look super duper favorable, but favorable enough to where we are still going to have that tropical wave transiting through most of the Caribbean, but it does not look to develop at all anytime soon. 
And going back to our European model, let's see here, because as we go forward and forward and forward over the next 10 days, we're not seeing anything discerning that I'm concerned about by any means. This is mainly frontal induced out here off the mid-Atlantic, so nothing to be concerned about there. And most of the tropics here looking nice and quiet. However, we do have a little bit of a tropical wave here and another weak tropical wave right here, as you can tell by the ISO lines over the next 10 days. But what you don't see is any hurricane or tropical storm out this far, which is really nice to see. And I'm not going beyond 10 days for many reasons because a lot of you did enjoy yesterday's video and said thank you for not going beyond 10 days. So we're going to keep things rolling on that. Nice, good sprawling ridge of high pressure up here, keeping things at bay, keeping things very stable. A lot of anticyclonic wave breaking, helping to bring in some of that drier air into lower latitudes. And that is why we're not going to see much in the way of development through early September. And we can see this here on the European model. If we look at our relative humidity plot here, any brown colors indicate lots of dry air in the atmosphere. This is all the way from about 10,000 feet all the way up to about 34,000 feet, looking at a lot of dry air out there versus down here. We have a lot of moisture, and that's where our tropical waves are. But each time these try to develop, they ingest all of this stable dry air coming in out of higher latitudes. And that is why the background state is too hostile for any tropical development at all over the course of the next 10 days, which is great news to see. I, know, um, I have a family obligation coming up as we go into the last day of August into Memorial or into Labor Day, which is September 1st. So it's going to be nice to have a breather, a nice good relaxation coming in because probably going to take off the time from doing tropical updates for those two days as things should hopefully be quiet. But if things get active, that will be another story to tell for a different video. So here's a look at the latest satellite imagery across the Atlantic from tropicaltidbits.com. And what we have right now is newly designated Tropical Storm for Non, which is going to be moving well to the east of Bermuda, only bringing some high surf to that island while we're keeping an eye still on Invest 99L that is going to be transiting into the Central Caribbean over the next seven days. This has a low chance of tropical development, but given its organization, I would not be surprised if chances do slowly go up over time as this moves generally westward at about 20 to almost 30 miles per hour. Now, when it comes to those sea surface temperature anomalies, this is pretty dang impressive, all from Major Hurricane Aaron as it moved its way up the coast here of the eastern seaboard of the United States. And look at what it has done here to our sea surface temperature anomalies. Anything here is sea surface temperatures anywhere between about one and a half to almost two and a half degrees below the long-term average. And look at all of this cooler than normal water up here in the far northern Atlantic off of um, Greenland as well as Iceland. This is a recipe for a very busy season because look at how warm the water is over here off the Iberian Peninsula current as well as off the coast of Africa and across much of the MDR as well as the Caribbean into the Gulf. This whole area, folks, is a recipe for a very, very, very busy Atlantic hurricane season perhaps a hyperactive one as we go into the second half of September into the middle of October. Now, the reason why it is highly unfavorable out there in the tropical Atlantic is because of where our MJO actually is. While we do have a lot of the rising motion over here in India, which is pretty much what we need, the problem with this is we have a lot of sinking motion happening now across the western half of Africa. You can even see all of this red here and orange. That is pretty much covering most of Africa, and that is why these tropical waves are not able to develop at all. They start developing in Ethiopia, but the problem is as they go further to the west, they fall apart gradually. And so by the time they come off of Africa, they're really not to be seen very much. And so that's because of all of this sinking motion in the velocity potential anomaly where we have all of this rising motion still over India. Now, the unfortunate thing to this is as we go into the first full week of September, mainly in the second week, all of this favorable environment, all of this rising motion is going to be headed towards the east 
over the next couple of weeks. And as it meets up with all of this rising motion that gets or that happens over Africa once again, I think we're going to have a very busy period coming up, especially from about the 10th of September and beyond, which is technically the peak of the hurricane season. And so I do believe you guys don't have to agree with me on this, not to fear monger or to hype up things, but we could have a hyperactive September into early October. I am not surprised by that given how much upward motion there is going to be here combined with all of the upward motion over here in India as well as Africa. So buckle up. It's going to be a rough one as we go by the time we go into the, about the 10th and the 11th of September. And you can see the extended forecast here, a convective coupled Kelvin wave moving on through, paired up with our MJO that is still locked and loaded over the Indian Ocean. That's going to lead to a very, very, very busy hyperactive period, especially by the time we go into the peak of hurricane season, which is traditionally around the 10th of September. We're going to keep things going all the way until early October, perhaps, with all of this favorable environment combined with the Atlantic. So, yes, I hope you all are ready. This is, again, our last good breather. Take a deep breath. I'm even going to take probably a few days off of uh, late August here on the YouTube channel to just kind of soak in all the quietness, all the calmness out there, because once we get into the middle of September, into late September, into early October, things are going to get extremely busy, I think. A hyperactive period looks very much possible. But anyways, if you haven't been here before and you do find these tropical weather outlook and discussions very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification icon to get all of my daily tropical weather updates, including live streams of any landfalling tropical storm or hurricane in the United States mainland, as well as the Caribbean as well as Puerto Rico, hit that like button and share this video with your family and friends on social media. As always, have a great rest of your guys' Saturday afternoon and evening here on the 23rd of August. I'll be back with you more tomorrow with another detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion.